when you think about like Singaporean like inventions or innovations, like the most famous one that comes to mind is like the thumb drive, or like how a uh, creative like managed to like sue Apple over something. I'm not very sure what, but something about the iPod. That's all I can think about. But I think that actually, you know, even though our country is very small, there are some creative people here. So today I'll be showcasing some products that I think are pretty cool. So what I have with me here is a little bit scandalous. It's a vibrator. So it's not just any vibrator, it's a Bluetooth enabled smart vibrator. It's invented by a Singaporean. And that's really cool because normally when you think about Singaporeans, you think about us as being like really stuffy, boring. But who knows? We like to get kinky in the bedroom. <laughs> Boring that nobody has used this. Why this vibrator is different from other vibrators is because you can kind of link it to your phone and use it with an app. So within the app, you can see that there are different erotic audiobooks. Let's try punishment. So it says that I've been a naughty girl. You know what? It's time to stop fucking around. Because you've been a bad girl. Oh no. Take off your fucking clothes. I don't want it. It's just, I can't, I can't deal with like What if the person that this voice belongs to is very gross? This is the black tie affair Let's see how like really like the upper class have sex I bet it's different from like normal people I must say that you've stolen the show again tonight Oh I have? Yes you have <laughs> My sexy woman <laughs> Thanks <laughs> I'm conversing with this guy I might be a bit lonely You know what it's like? It's like when you're waiting for Christmas day Oh god, the upper class like sex thing is like so boring. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a drink in a minute there. Nice one, kid. <laughs> this is the like, exact opposite of like masturbatory like material. So when you feel like you want the, the sensations to go like stronger, you can actually adjust it like that. Ooh, now it's like really, really intense. And then if you want it to be slower and softer, you can just adjust it here. So there's another function that I think is like pretty cool that you can also like chat with people. So chat with your long distance like lover or whoever else you want to chat with. I'm going to start adding somebody here in the chat. Hillary Clinton has accepted my request. So while you're chatting with your partner, your partner can actually control your vibrator. And I'm going to ask Hillary to vibrate my vibe. So let's go. <laughs> Whoa. The smart vibrator is around $165 and I think it's pretty cool, like the price is not exorbitant. I think that's the regular price of vibrators. Not that I should know but yeah, <laughs> I went with my friend to the store. Mm -hmm. Additionally, it's quite small, you can put it in your luggage also. And uh, if, even if the security person open it and asks you what is it, then you just be like, keychain, uh, model of a uh, brain job. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> my friend put it inside. <laughs> So what I'm holding here is the ink case. It is supposedly the first e-ink phone case. It's this technology that uses grayscale like pigments and it's like ultra low battery usage. So first thing you do is to put your phone into the ink case and then you connect it via Bluetooth. So tapping the middle one twice will give you three options. The first one is to display pictures. So you can put your selfies, put your dog, uh, put your kid, whatever makes you the most happy. I'm going to try to take a selfie now and put it into the case. So let's give it a try. Crop it and save it. Send to ink case. Wow, look at that. They want to put the dash on it. Yeah, I just changed it to a picture of dash. I love it. Mm, cutie. The second option, it's the book reading function. It's really great for people who like to read books but don't want to waste the battery on their phone to read a book and you don't want to bring an additional device like a Kindle or something. Personally, I read a lot of ebooks on my iBooks app and it just sucks up battery. Ah. So if you don't really read, there's also another function. So it's kind of like your calendar or your events feed and like this health thing lah, which obviously I won't use but telling me how many steps I took today. The ink case costs $109 and to me, I think it's a little bit expensive. My concern is that number one, it looks very masculine so that's not really my style. Number two, I'm a little bit concerned about it breaking. With a phone case, it's supposed to protect your phone. So I'm not sure if this will make me feel like my phone is in safe like hands. Although I have to agree that if you are a very heavy book reader, that's like actually a really good invention for you. So what I have with me here is the GIY stick and it means grow it yourself. It can basically make 
any pot self-watering which means that you can go on your holidays and just leave your plants without a person having to tend to them and water them every day or if you forget your plants are gonna be fine because of this what makes this product extra special is that the person who came up with the idea is actually a 13 year old Singaporean boy you go Glen Coco so I'm gonna show you guys how it works right now you also need a piece of cloth that you can use any piece of cloth first you fix this piece with this piece like that just gonna find the hole slot it in actually there's an additional piece right here that you can use to sort of extend the tube longer if you have a bigger potted plant but since my potted plant is really small I don't need that I just need the small one so I'm just gonna put this aside thread your cloth through the hole here and then I put my cloth in it screws on perfectly slot this back up just pour water inside here now that it's kind of like screwed in I can just simply poke the cloth and into my plant it actually can just hang off the side of the pot like that what happens is that this is like um, some sciencey thing that's called capillary action where somehow gravity or I don't know what else would pull the water from the water bottle into your soil so that your plant has enough water to live. It was on Kickstarter and it asked for $20,000 but it actually got $35,000 so that is great. And you know what? Singaporeans are very concerned about mosquito. So like this never see so you know. Yeah, then the NEA won't come and find you. Yeah, because it's all covered. The mosquito want to go in but they cannot. They're like, oh, this water, it sounds like a great place to lay my eggs but where's the entrance? Take that mosquitoes. Plus, on top of that, it comes at a very reasonable price. Only $10. Very good. Worth it for the life of your plant. Alright, so we've come to the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and learning about all these amazing Singapore products. You should definitely, you know, try to buy some if you are interested because you should support local. And also, when it comes to like local, what's more local than Click Network? Ta-da! Yeah, you know, it's all like, um, is it like all Singaporeans in it? I don't think so, right? with uh, many many Singaporeans in it so you need to support us to support local YouTube also if you guys didn't know I have sort of like restarted my own YouTube channel do subscribe to my channel to see more videos download the Click Network app because that's also a Singaporean invention and you get to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube so that's it thank you for watching bye hope my mother is not watching this one with the vibrator shit yeah I tell her not to watch it